The west side of Curbside on the Economic Corridor consists of 503 acres of prime farmland perfectly laid out along the primary transportation corridor. Highway 2 is referred to as the Canamex Highway, referencing its international logistics significance for the movement of goods between Canada, America, and Mexico. In total, two kilometers of curbside highway frontage situated on the geographic midpoint between Calgary and Lethbridge, Alberta. The land is prime farmland that can be farmed corner to corner with big iron given the contiguous layout of the land. Area farmers can add significant acres to their land base and capitalize on economies of scale. Better margins mean a happy banker. These 503 acres are truly a multi-purpose parcel of land, offering up substantial long-term financial power, all sure to make you, your kids, and their kids very happy. If you are someone that likes to check all the boxes before buying land, this makes a grade. Being on the windward side of the corridor means any frontage development would face the corridor and be on the leeward side. These four quarters on the west side of Highway 2 will be sold in two parcels. Curbside does get better. Add a six pack of quarters on the east of Claire's home and together with the parcels on the west, you have showpiece bookends to that Western Canadian storybook town. This easterly six pack is made up of the south half of section one and all of section 36. Numbers that perhaps reflect chance at the roulette table, but nothing but productive certainty in the case of these 875 prime cultivated acres of agriculture land. The adage, you can never pay too little for poor land and too much for good land, rings real here. In total, six highly fertile quarter sections of land bordering an urban center, all within one mile of one of the most major transportation corridors in all of Canada. This six-pack produces on and off the field with SLR on all six quarters. There quite simply is no substitution for an assemblage of land like this. Land that is close to grain and oilseed markets. Miss it, and it may not trade again for generations. The quarters will be sold in three parcels as per the CLH bid website. Parcel three, being the south half of section one, is that often sought after half section made just for the GPS. In total, 313 acres of arguably some of the most fertile land in southern Alberta. Parcel 4 is again that showcase half section running north and south, bordering the town itself and made up of over 315 acres of cultivated land. One only has to imagine what this half section might look like in a few decades, situated right on the doorstep of Claire's home. Lastly, Parcel 5 is made up of some 250 acres of cultivated land forming the east half of Section 36. A smaller parcel of less productive wetland on Parcel 5 has been left to nature for years while continuing to focus on prime acres for productivity. All 10 of these quarters have been owned and managed by the same farmer operator for over four decades through the lens of continuous improvement, utilizing advanced sustainability procedures and modern technologies, including zero tillage, fertility management, targeted crop protection, strict rotations, and disease prevention. Sound stewardship has always been paramount on this land. If you believe that luck is a well-thought-out plan meeting opportunity, you no doubt will want to review the proposed map of the future Highway 2 bypass around the east side of Claire's home. The bypass coming to fruition would provide highway frontage to the eastern six-pack. The development opportunity offered is driven by local organic growth from the expansion of Claire's home, coupled with more broad-based regional and nationally driven industrial growth as a result of being located along this world-renowned economic corridor. Base your new business in the MD of Willow Creek, and you can be confident the foundation will be rock solid given two-thirds of the MD's tax income is already derived from wind farms, transportation lines, and other energy-based assessments. A municipal district with a solid financial base ensures you can focus on the business at hand. We have all seen a quarter of farmland for sale adjacent to a transportation corridor, only to come back years later and witness three-acre commercial lots selling for more than the quarter initially sold. Don't kick yourself for missing this one. Some of the most fertile land in Western Canada with arguably some of the highest potential for appreciation. If you're looking to diversify and invest in agriculture land in Western Canada, 
curbside on the economic corridor gives you that opportunity to realize significant appreciation far and beyond just farmland potential. Curbside on the economic corridor will be offered for sale by electronic tender by clhbid.com. Check the website for details from time to time. clhbid.com, the trusted way to buy and sell farm and ranch land.